Steel Angels. Today is April 11th. After a month of being out of this forest, we are back hiking at Harris Woods Creek Gate in Vonseld Tree Farm. We will see you on the trail. We are back at a historic place that we remember from five years ago, hiking with a slightly older ranger. This pile of logs is the only one we found on this side of the road. Somehow we missed the ginormous log where we headed today. The fun part, there was a mouse, a tiny little brown mouse that came out to see us while we were having our lunch. Today we're going to go past this place past the beautiful of all the snags out here and out to the enormous log. There's a perfectly good pass right there. Ta-da! We connected the dots from our last trip and we reached our destination point, right there in the shadows. Very unassuming and very comfortably lies our lunch log. There's our lunch log right behind us. And if you look closely, you're not going to find anything that doesn't belong there. We might have disturbed a few moss pieces and they will come back on their own time. The storms left a lot of damage behind. A lot of it has been cleared off and some is still around. What Come. am I supposed to do here? Come on through. Duck. Quack, 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 quack. <sighs> quack, 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 quack. <laughs> and now you're stuck. <laughs>
We found the other cell tower at the end of this relentless road that kept going up and up and up. We just walked around this tower and unfortunately picked up our first load. This right here is trash ranging from pretty unwieldy cables to smaller things that should have been picked up. And this is a, almost a dollar worth of cans and surprisingly enough, alcohol bottles. That is really a shame. Over the years, we learned to appreciate small cut out areas. They're not just clear cut, they are harvested. And the reason you know they're harvested, because you see those itty bitty little tufts in the socks. Guess what? That's already been replanted. One wonderful thing about this open space is you have a view. Right up there, we see the cell tower that we visited in the past. And, and you can see the roads where you're going. And the best part, you have a plethora of logs and stumps and other places. And once in a while, you come across a beauty like this. If we can figure out how to climb on it, that will be our next snack stump. If not, there's another one right next door to it. Okay, so climbing this beast is not a good idea. It's been set on fire unsuccessfully, but it's still charcoaled. Right a few feet away from it, however, we see this enormous stump. From the looks of it, it can quite comfortably fit more than two steel rangers. It's a tabletop, look at that. Puddles according to Steel Ranger. Perfect, it's deep. Everyone is tested and rated. And it's warm. And it's right on the bottom. It's full of rocks. Absolutely. It is April 11th. We're back from our almost eight mile hike that took us about seven hours with lunch and breaks and stops and pictures. Unfortunately, in the last five years, this place has not kept up its luster. This right here is all the trash that we found. In this side, I have a bag practically full of glass, glass bottles, and another bag full of recyclables, cans and other bottles. All in all, about 20 pieces that we hauled out. We also found this lovely piece. We don't know where it belongs, but at some point or another, if it's still here, we'll come back and dispose of it. Until then, we'll see you at Hashtag Flaking. Are you still recording? Yes, I just started a new one, like you told me to. It is April 11th. We're back from our almost eight hour... Mile.